Paul Sikala has our story. This moment has been on the calendar for Pac-12 fans for a number of days. The announcement of the relaunching of a fall football season, which of course affects the Arizona football team as well. The Pac-12 is following in the footsteps of the Big Ten and other conferences, and here's how everything went down. The Arizona Wildcats, along with other Pac-12 football teams, will play a seven-game season beginning on November 6th. There will also be a conference championship game on December 18th. Teams that don't make it to the title game will suit up in another matchup, depending on seeding, that final weekend just to get one more game in. The second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place teams in the Pac-12 North and South will play each other that weekend in bonus games. Pac-12 leaders say after changes in COVID-19 testing and updated research, they are positive they can ensure the safety of athletes. It is absolutely a value of the Pac-12, but what ended up happening was uh, over time, our, our medical advisory group, and we have one of them on tonight, it became much more comfortable uh, with our, our plans to resume. And one of the reasons for that was that Commissioner Scott was able to acquire daily testing uh, for our students. So we were much better aid. We didn't have that the first time we voted. And that will allow us to uh, identify if anyone uh, becomes infected and remove them from play before they affect other people. For more on the scheduling of the Pac-12 football team and how everything will sort out for the University of Arizona football squad, we have more on KVOA.com. We've got you covered from the west side. Paul Sikala, News 4, Tucson. And we will have reaction from the U of A football team tonight at 10. It is 